very good morning friends so i hope you're all safe and healthy well if you recall i had started my series on hedge accounting with you wherein i gave you a five step model on hedge accounting the step number 1 was dealing with identifying the hedged item or what we call the hedged instrument so today in this particular session i'm going to cover only the step number 1 in detail with you the very first question you know what comes to the mind is what is a hedged item or what we call a hedged instrument it means the item which needs to be hedged now you would say what does it mean the item which needs to be hedged well if you recall in the previous part i had given you that let's say for example if you make an investment in a debt instrument which is measured at a fair value through oci then this instrument is supposed to be a hedged item or you can say a hedge instrument whose risk is what i want to protect myself let's i think now see in detail the step number 1 an academy par india ka biggest scholarship test har sunday ke sunday hota hai 12 baje sunday ko ye compact competition ke naam se conduct hota hai जिसके अंदर आपके फाउंडेशन के जो सब्जेक्ट्स हैं उन्हीं पर बेस्ड आपसे कुछ एमसीक्यूज पूछे जाते हैं और एक करोड़ के स्कॉलरशिप पूल के अंदर खूब सारे इनाम हैं जो बच्चे इन कंपटीशन के अंदर पहली तीन रैंक्स लाते हैं उनको पूरे एक साल की फाउंडेशन प्लस की सब्सक्रिप्शन स्कॉलरशिप के रूप में मिलती है जो बच्चे फोर्थ टू टेंथ रैंक लाते हैं उन्हें सेवेंटी ऑफ दी सब्सक्रिप्शन स्कॉलरशिप के रूप में मिलती है और जिनकी इलेवन से लेके फिफ्टी रैंक आती है उन्हें फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ दी सब्सक्रिप्शन पर स्कॉलरशिप मिलती है और जो बच्चे फिफ्टी वन से लेके टू हंड्रेड रैंक लाते हैं उन्हें पच्चीस परसेंट सब्सक्रिप्शन मिलती है यानी इतने सारे इनाम आपकी रैंक अगर टॉप थ्री आती है तो हंड्रेड परसेंट लेकिन अगर उसके बाद की रैंकिंग्स भी हैं तो भी सेवेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी और ट्वेंटी आपको सब्सक्रिप्शन पर डिस्काउंट मिलता है तो करना कुछ नहीं है आपने संडे को एक एग्जाम देना है छोटा सा जिसके लिए आपको लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मिलेगा और उस टेस्ट को आप अनलॉक कर सकते हैं मेरे कोड के साथ सी ए के बी टेन तो एवरी संडे ट्वेल्व पी एम स्लेट्स क्रैकेट न क्वेश्चन वॉट कम्स टू माइंड इज कैन एनी काइंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट बी अज इंस्ट्रूमेंट that means can i consider any of the financial instruments to be a hedged item well there is a list which is given in indias 109 and i would technically call this as qualifying items number 1 it could be a recognized asset number 2 it could be a recognized liability number 3 it could be an unrecognized firm commitment now you would say recognized asset and liability we understand but when you say it is supposed to be an unrecognized firm commitment the question arises what is an unrecognized firm commitment for example an entity has already you know entered into a sale of inventory at a future date so it is a firm commitment because they've already committed to make a sale of the inventory but it is not recognized in the books of accounts so that becomes an unrecognized firm commitment so i could you know hedge this particular you can say transaction itself number 4 it's a highly probable forecast transaction that means we are not committed to the transaction we have not entered into any future kind of transaction but we are very sure we very confident about the fact that there is let's say a sale or purchase which is highly probable to happen so there is a slight little difference between when you say unrecognized firm commitment and unrecognized firm commitment would mean that you've already entered into a future you know contract a future date contract like as i said a sale of inventory but when i say it's a highly probable forecast transaction that means you are not committed to a transaction you have not entered into any kind of firm commitment but it is quite highly probable in nature that the sale or purchase in the future is going to take place and you want to protect yourself or number 5 it could be a case of what you call nifo a net investment in foreign operations 
so these are the types of hedge instrument you know where you could plan to you can say protect yourself against either a fair value change or protect yourself against the cash outflows or inflows now a very important question what comes to the mind is can we hedge a component of a item is it necessary that when you hedge a particular item you hedge the item in entirety or can you also hedge a component of an item well the answer is yes we can the entity may either designate the entire instrument as a you know a part of the hedging relationship or only a component of that item but indies 109 lays down you know three circumstances where you can say okay in this is the area when a component of a hedge item can be entered for hedging relationship and these are the three you can say exhaustive list which is given in indies 109 entity may designate only the following types of components as a hedged item number 1 only changes in the cash flow or fair value of an item attributable to a specific risk you know a particular hedged item may be exposed to a cash flow risk also it may be exposed to a fair value risk also but the entity may decide that we don't want to hedge you know the complete item we just want to hedge let's say only the cash flow risk or we decide that we only want to hedge let's say only the fair value risk so you plan to hedge only a particular risk related to that hedged item second is that we may you know have a selected contractual cash flows which we want to hedge like for example in a particular instrument there is a principal cash flow as well as there is a interest cash flow the entity may decide not to you know hedge the entire instrument in the sense i don't want to hedge the total cash flows in terms of both interest and the principal but i decide okay let me hedge only the interest cash flows and the third is a component of a nominal amount that means even within the interest cash flows i may decide to hedge only 50% of the cash flows let's say out of the principal i decide to hedge only 80% of the cash flows so you can say there are three areas when you know a component of a hedged item could be considered as a hedging instrument as a hedged item and that is that you may plan either to you know hedge only a particular risk component you may you know plan to hedge only a particular cash flow of the total cash cash components or you may plan only a per percentage of a particular cash flows so this is the step number 1 where the entity has to identify that this is the item which we are planning to hedge so that is called the hedged item where we have learned two important things a list of five items which can be hedged and we've also seen that we can also hedge a component of that particular item as well so that is the step number 1 we'll see you in the next video on the step number 2 in detail